Hey bloke, I see you're getting ready for the season. Have you gotten your jab yet? Did I get my jab? I always have my jab. Look at this. And this. And this. You know, it's like H2M, my stay ready so I don't have to get ready. No, not that jab. Not sure I'm following you. To keep it a bug, this jab is all full of Mayweather with it right here. Is your jab even safe? Yeah, the jab is safe. You know I'm a champion. I'm made for this. Will your jab change my DNA? Absolutely not. Does your jab give you COVID? Jab, stop, stop, stop. Look, I'm not talking about that jab, I'm talking about that jab. You mean that I get my vaccine? Man, I've been done that. You're looking at the next Golden Glove champion. So I have to stay a safe and healthy room. You know, HT backs up. All right, jolly good then, jolly good. Okay, cool, cool, that's what I'm talking about. Hello, safe and healthy Rams. I'm Dr. Amanda Messino, Chair of Natural Sciences and Associate Professor of Biology right here at Houston Tillotson University. If you or your loved ones have not yet received the COVID vaccine, you might have a few questions that have prevented you from doing so. First of all, let me assure you that the COVID-19 vaccines available in the U.S. are safe. The technology behind the vaccines was developed over decades. The clinical trials were fast, this is true, but that's because we had a massive scientific effort focused on one goal. Since then, 175 million Americans have received the vaccine, including those over 12, from a range of racial and medical backgrounds. Of those 175 million, there have been three deaths caused by the vaccine. Compare this to 120 million cases of COVID-19. 648,000 people have lost their lives to COVID, leaving spaces at the table that will never be filled again. We know that death rates and hospitalization rates are higher among Black, Brown, Asian, and Indigenous communities. We also know that 20 to 30 percent of those infected, even mild infections, will go on to develop long COVID, the debilitating syndrome of persistent symptoms that can last for months or years. The vaccines do not give you COVID. They mimic a tiny portion of the virus to train your immune system to detect and fight the real thing. The vaccines do not alter your DNA, nor do they contain tracking chips. The vaccines do offer protection against the Delta variant. The efficacy is lower than for the original coronavirus strain, but the protection is still there. Vaccinated individuals are less likely to be infected, far less likely to be hospitalized, and far less likely to die. Right now, 95 to 99% of hospitalizations and deaths are among those who are unvaccinated or who have faulty immune systems for whom vaccination does not offer protection. You are also less likely to transmit the coronavirus if you've been vaccinated. So even if you wanna take a gamble on your own health with COVID infection, please consider that you might transmit the virus to a friend or to a family member. Vaccination is not just about you. Vaccination is also about your community. HT Rams, we want you to have a safe and healthy semester. So that's why it's all of our project working together to make sure that HT backs up. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Daniela Zuniga Carlier and I'm the Safe and Healthy Rams coordinator here on campus. Now, I wanna to talk to you guys today about testing and vaccination. So just a little bit about what I do on campus, I will be the main point of contact for any COVID-19 related situation, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Now, let's talk about routine testing. Everyone who is unvaccinated or partially vaccinated will need to get a PCR test every seven days. Now, you will be considered fully vaccinated after your second dose of the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine when it's been two weeks or after the single dose of the Janssen vaccine when it's been two weeks, okay? Now, like I said, we're only accepting PCR tests, so please no rapid tests. Now, there will be certain situations where we will ask you to get tested. If you have COVID-19-like symptoms, you will be asked to get tested. Also, if you are in contact, you will be asked to get tested as well. Now, where can you get tested on campus? You can get tested at community care 
or you can get tested on campus every Tuesday in diverse locations and we will be updating you on these locations every week. Now, I wanna talk about vaccinations. You can get vaccinated on campus at Community Care or also we will be having many future vaccine sites so you guys will have the opportunity. If you wish to get vaccinated elsewhere, you can get vaccinated in CVS, HEB, Walgreens, Walmart, any pharmacy really, and it's gonna be for free, no cost. You don't need insurance or anything, okay? And so guys, just remember that we're just trying to do the best we can to keep everyone safe and healthy and we really need you. So yeah, just please don't hesitate to reach out with any situation. Oh, oh my goodness, I've been doing so good. Sis has been drinking her water. Sis has been going to the gym. Sis has been going to class on time every day. Sis is HT next up. Sis is a safe and healthy realm. Sis is me. I am sis. Like, oh my goodness. But, girl, like, I can't even lie. The other day, you know, me and baby got on FaceTime. And this was like, he had the audacity to do it. Like, tell me. You know, sis, what's Tia? He's not vaccinated. He's not getting the vaccine. Like, <laughs> we're in a whole panoramic. We're in a whole pandemonium. That's right. And he acting pressed like a panini, and I'm really oh, not press, feeling that. Press, press, press. And you know I play zero games when it comes to that. Like when it comes to Miss Rona and COVID nineteen, he can get on with that, like, girl. Hmm. Three hours later. My name is Michaela Walker, and I am a business management major here at Houston Tillotson University, but I also serve as your 64th Miss Houston Tillotson University. I decided to get vaccinated because I felt it was necessary to protect myself, my coworkers, as well as my fellow Rams right here on campus. I knew I wanted to be reunited, and it feels so good to be here now that I'm vaccinated and able to be able to share that with you. Please make sure you stay vaxxed up Rams, and I hope to see you soon. Hello Rams, we are reunited and it feels so good. I am Christian Broussard, a senior criminal justice major hailing all the way from Houston, Texas. I have the honor of serving as your 18th Mr. Houston Tillerson University. I decided to get vaccinated because my mother led the way. She led by example and I followed suit. And I felt like it was important for me to protect myself, my family, and my friends. So let's stay safe and healthy Rams. HT, Vax up. HT backs 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 up.